Hi guys, it's Princess Delicious and today I wanted to do a video about starting a YouTube channel. Now, I know that it was like a couple of months, someone had Snapchatted me and um, commented underneath my video, can I do a video about starting a YouTube channel? Now, I have been on YouTube since January the I think it was the 10th of 2014 so I have been on here for almost four years and you know I don't have a lot of subscribers and that is okay that is okay um so you know I'm not the biggest youtuber um for you to take a, um tips from but I have been on YouTube for a good little long period of time and I have been consistent um and sometimes I haven't so anyway so let's get to it so when i first started um doing youtube videos i was recording on my phone and on my tablet so i had a samsung s3 phone and i just used my front facing camera like i am with this phone right now and i just press record and i just talk so so number one a camera you can use a smartphone so if you have a s3 and it can record videos, use that as your camera. If you have an LG2 or LG3, use that as your camera. So I also changed different in my phones, whatever. So my phone was my camera. It still is. So I had the S3. And then I also recorded on my um, tablet as well. And I had, it was a Samsung Tablet 2, I think. And I recorded the the front face the camera now the quality isn't that great I recommend you to use a like um, a phone that is at least five megapixels with the tablets they're like one megapixel so use something that is five and up megapixels or you just turn the um, camera around and you're gonna record using the main camera so any phone that is like that came out in the area of the S threes that was like two thousand and thirteen or twelve, those phones and up are perfect. So if you have a Nokia or LG, um, whatever, use that. So also I used the um the S three, then I changed my phone to the LG Stylo. I used that front facing camera. It is okay. It's not the best camera. It's a little bit grainy. If you look at my videos the year before last year, I was recording on that phone. So that is okay as well. And then I went to the um, J7, Samsung J7 is the phone right now. And this phone is not expensive. It's at least $200 or $250. So it's not that expensive at T-Mobile. And it has a great camera quality. Like, look. Like, it's catching all of this. So, it is doing pretty well. Um, so, yeah. Alright, so next. Now, you want to make sure you have great lighting. Right now, I have my window open. It's fully open. The blinds are up. And this is how I film. Now, you can buy, like, light bulbs or a lamp to make your videos a little bit brighter if you're filming at dark at night but I usually film in the morning I would love to film it at night because there's some things that I want to do as you can see the Sun went out like that so it's changing my lighting in my room and that's one of the negatives of how using natural daylight this this happens <laughs> so the colors, you know, if you're doing makeup videos or whatever, the colors may change and it may look a little bit thrown off. So, that's one of the cons about filming in daylight. See, now it's coming back out and I'm glowing again. Alright, so, um, you also can find, like, our special lighting on Amazon, eBay. Um, those are the main websites that I know. And if you want to get professional, professional lighting... It will be like one of those expensive websites and things like that, which I don't recommend you to actually spend. Or you just buy a basic $15 lamp at Walmart, put a um, light bulb in it, and use that as your lighting. It depends on what you want to spend, okay? Alright, so three. 
Now we went over the camera, the lighting, and then um, three. Now, this is your YouTube name. Now, in order for you to create a YouTube channel, you need to have a Gmail, you know, address or whatever account. So you can go on to type in Gmail in Google, Gmail, create your um, email, and you'll create your account, put all the information in, and voila. So, and then you will go into YouTube, sign in using your Gmail login information, and you can create your YouTube channel that way. Then, there you go. So, create a Gmail account. I don't know what number we're at, like four? Alright, so after you're doing that, record a video. Record a video, probably do like an introduction. Hey, this is blah, blah, blah. Also, before you do that, when you're creating your, um account your um, YouTube account have a beautiful name a name that stands out for example my name is Princess Lixielicious nobody has that name on YouTube and it's very unique and I love it and I'm gonna stick with it maybe but the Lixielicious that has always been my like using name since I was in high school and middle school so I stuck with it and yeah, because it was actually my Instagram name, but I changed it to my YouTube name, my YouTube name. So, Princess Lexi, it is. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, go ahead and record your video. Also, figure out what kind of content, content that you want to put on your channel. Are you going to do cooking videos, beauty videos, fashion, um, self-help, um, inspiration, technology, whatever what kind of content that you want to pick put out now you can do all of them multiple like who wants to have a boring channel all the time nobody wants to see that so have your have a plan of what kind of videos that you want to upload to youtube okay so after that now you do want to make a nice banner um you can also make your own using photo grid and um just type in on YouTube how to make your own YouTube banner. I will probably leave a link of someone that I had um, watched to help me create my banner. And I love it. I probably will do it another one, but I don't feel like it because it took, took some time to actually do it. So um, just type in on YouTube how to make a YouTube banner and follow those steps. And you just decorate your own way. That's what I did. And I love it. So, yeah. And it was free. Some people um, do charge people to make their banners for them. Alright. So, you also want to have a social media account to connect with your fans or your friends or whatever. So, you will create an Instagram account. Also, use like hashtag it, hashtags like YouTube Guru or YouTube so people can actually follow you or they will see the feed. Now, on Instagram, let's just say you type in MUE, Makeup um, Enthusiast. That's why I can't call myself. So if you click that um, hashtag, it will show you all of these people who have used that hashtag. And also at the top, it says follow. So people who are looking for makeup enthusiasts or an artist or cooks or whatever, they will probably follow that hashtag and they will see your post every time someone used that hashtag. For example, I have, I follow um, a hashtag that says drugstore makeup because I love drugstore makeup. And I will follow them and I see all these new products and I'm like, yes, add to wish list. So use those hashtags to broaden your audience and try to get more people to come to your channel. Also during your Instagram bio, you want to add your YouTube link in there so they can click it and it will go directly to your YouTube channel. So these are all some tips that I use to advertise myself and that's how I kind of get people to my channel and most people just find me, you know, on a random or whatever, but use those hashtags. Alright, so another thing is that you want to be consistent with your videos, create a plan of what days you, you're going to film and upload. Now, for me, I just upload <laughs> and film when I have time. Now, when it's around school time or whatever and, and work, 
I usually don't film Mondays through Friday. I don't film on those days because I'm very busy and I don't have time. Now, sometimes I may film, but I don't get a time to actually edit the videos. So, usually I film on a Saturday or Sunday because I have a lot of free time and I can catch this beautiful lighting. So, and I will usually upload that Saturday or that Sunday. So, it depends on my mood and on the weather mood if it's bright and sunny i'll record if it's somewhat sunny um i'll still record the day if there's enough light now if it's dark and um hurricanes and all that i'm not feeling it so yeah so next movie editing and i should put this for number five anyways but i got thrown off track and i don't have any notes i'm just going off of my dome number five. Oh, what number is it i don't know now you do want to have a um, a video editor to edit your videos. If you have an um, a Apple laptop or whatever, you can use iMovie or Final Cut Pro. I don't have those um, those products in my household, but if you have a PC like a Dell, a Toshiba, um, any of those or HP, whatever. Now, they some of them do come with Windows Movie Maker, or you can download it on the um, store for Windows. So you can just go to windows.com um, and Windows Movie Maker will be somewhere there and you can download it like that. So it is 100% free and that's how I edit my videos. I use Windows Movie Maker. It's easy, it's simple, and it does a great job. Like Now there is um, a few features that I wish that it had. But I just use what I can use for now, and it's doing pretty good. Because I do want the side-by-side -side comparison split video thing. Um, I wish Windows Movie Maker would have that. Um, but it is okay, so I'm okay with it. So, Windows Movie Maker for stars. Um, so, you can actually get used to editing videos. Alright, um, what's next that I'm missing out? Um... Let me see. Okay, um, the, back to the consistent, uh, consistency. I said consistent. Back to like uploading videos or cons or setting up a plan when to upload. Usually, I upload on Saturday. I film on Saturdays or Sundays, but I may pre-schedule a video on a Tuesday at 2 p.m. That's when most of them I usually set it up for, or early in the morning, or, or something like that. Depends. And that's how I schedule my content. So if you see a video that's on a Wednesday, whatever, I did not record on that day. I just pre-scheduled that video to upload on that day. So YouTube, when you upload your video, um, there's a if you okay, there's like an arrow at the top, and you click the arrow, arrow, and it comes to this other screen, and it have YouTube. This is how you upload your video. And it will say things like private, public, and it's like this arrow situation. If you ever upload a video or try to do it, you'll understand what I'm trying to say. Like I said, I can't do a split screen thing, but you'll see what I'm talking about. So, and it will say private, unlisted, or schedule. I click schedule and the day and the time that I'm planning to upload this video. So, that's what I do. Um, also, when you upload your videos or whatever, you do want to fill in your description box. Have like your social medias in there, your email, like your business email, just in case companies want to email you something or a subscriber wants to contact you or something like that. Make sure you have your email in the description box. Now, you also want to create a nice thumbnail for your um, videos. Now, thumbnail is something that will attract um, viewers to watch your video so you have a beautiful thumbnail that is banging people are more likely to click your thumbnail if it looks presentable so that's one reason how to get people to watch your videos a nice thumbnail okay um another thing so you can also download the app called youtube studio and that's how i fill in my description box instead of logging into my computer onto youtube and filling that out allergies so I, in my notes i record i will type in what i want in my description box or is already there 
So when I'm about to upload a video, whatever, I go to YouTube Studio, then I um, bring up my notes. I will copy my notes so you can select all and copy. And then I will go back to the Studio app, and then I will click that video, and then um, I will go to Edit, and then I will go to Description Box, and I will just paste that information in there. So it's already there before the video is pretty much processed. So that's what I do. Um, so yeah, so and then I'll click save. So by the time that it is um, done processing the description box, all the information, if I'm doing a review on a wig, that link to this wig will be in the description box, all the information. So it's already in there, it's already prepared, and that's what I like. So it makes it easy for me, instead of me typing all the information over and over, when I can just copy and paste it. So you guys, I think that's about it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any more questions, please comment down below, and I'll touch you guys later.